Hello, welcome back to the channel. Last time in the last video I left you with some clustering on Google Maps in Jetpack Compose and the question if it was possible to customize the clustering element and the single markers of every single point that you have in your cluster data. So in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can customize the cluster item and the cluster content entirely and let's see what we get and yeah let's do it so as you can see here we have some markers that are displayed in the map that seems to be some just just some custom markers but they're not because we are using the custom clustering function in Jetpack Compose so last time we left with just this part of the clustering and now I've added both the cluster content and the cluster item content. The cluster content is a SEPTA composable function and it's an optional composable that is rendered for each cluster while the cluster item content is an optional composable that is rendered for each non-clustered item. So what we can see here, this with the surrounded corner shape with the blue color, it's the cluster content and this is the cluster item content instead. As you can see here we have a surface which is a circle shape with blue and yeah, different width and height so if we can change this to size and rerun the application we will see that we will have a 40 dp cir blue circle for the cluster there we go and this is the custom cluster content item instead which has a red surface with different width and height and rounded corner shape so what we receive inside of these two function I'm gonna show you what it is. So we get a cluster of marker data. So here we receive a cluster and the cluster give us a few things. Give us the items, which is cluster.items. Give us the size, which is retrievable by doing this size and give us the position which is cluster dot position and this allow us to create a custom cluster to display in the in, on google maps as you can see and as i've shown you already it can be customized quite easily one thing i thought was possible was to for example as the cluster content if i want to create a marker which is a composable function that google maps give us uh, we could use it this way and let's say for example that as the title we want the format of the size right uh, if we do run this you will see that the app will crash unfortunately uh, I don't know why yet so it doesn't crash yet because it's this function is not yet used because all the markers are displayed on the map so this function only is used but as soon as we as we zoom out a bit and the cluster tries to get shown on the map we get a crash which is this uh, invalid applier and as i said there is a, an open issue on their github page which is can change the default cluster item content and this user goes explaining that if inside the cluster item content well it appears to be happening in the cluster content as well and using the marker 
the expected behavior would be to use the marker composable function on it, but it's not possible. And yeah, the struct trace is the same, invalid applier. And then there is this replier, this reply from this user that says the cluster content lambda cannot take a marker composable, but accepts just a plain composable, no handling of marker state. This, however, has major drawbacks as you can configure properties of the marker, like the anchor of the early Z index while using the cluster. So this is not possible to, to do, so you have to use a custom function yourself. Uh, now let's continue. Uh, instead, inside the cluster item content, what we will receive is the marker data. The marker data is my class that I defined in the previous uh, videos that you can find, I don't know, somewhere on the screen right now. And it's basically uh, whatever class you want that extends the cluster item interface. So you just get all your data that you want inside your um, <coughs> cluster item content. And this is basically gathered by the items that you provide here, which is a list of your class. Now, let's say that you want to create something more similar to what the default behavior is. So I just got, for example, uh, let's keep the cluster content as it is, uh, but change the cluster item content. Oops, got the wrong one. So this is a composable function that has a column with a text and an icon that use the location on icon and just color it in red and write the name of the data that we have on top of the composable function. So as you can see here, this is the item while if we zoom out, we will get the previous one that I show. Uh, just to demonstrate, it can this one can be customized as well. Let's say that we want to use an icon there as well with a different color and, dif and write something different. For example, the number of elements that we have in the cluster. We can see that we have five elements. If we zoom in, four elements here, and then it changes back to the normal cluster and that's how easily it is to create something custom for your clustering function inside google maps on jetpack compose again those two function accept any plain composable but not anything related to the marker composable function that has a marker state inside of it unfortunately um, that's all I wanted to show you for today's video. Quite a short one, but yeah, plenty of useful uh, information since you might avoid spending hours as I did the first time trying to figure out why it crashed with a marker inside of those two functions here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the thumbs up like the thumbs up button down below subscribe for more content and let me know down in the comment if you want me to go through anything in specific regarding compose or anything related to android entirely as well thanks you for thanks you for watching see you in the next one